You're watching Terrier Vision. Understand that you have been prepared to meet this challenge, and the only thing that we've got to do is do it. This is our place. This is our day. This is our time. This is our game. Now we just got to prove it. <clears throat> I know, I know that somewhere along the line, when we need to make the play, we'll make that play. I want to see a great ball game. I want to see a great deal of intensity. I want to see guys that are out there getting after it and guys that are out there not worried about not making the play, but excited about making the play. Let's play this thing. Let's play this thing like we're capable of playing. No fear. No fear. None. I trust in you. The coaches trust in you. You trust in one another. We said a long time ago, faith, family, discipline, commitment, dedication. That's what we're all about. It's time for us to prove it. Welcome into Gibbs Stadium, where tonight the Wofford Terriers play their home opener, taking on longtime nemesis, the Georgia Southern Eagles. Wofford enters the ball game one and one overall, one and zero oh in conference play, while the Eagles come in two and zero oh overall. They play their first SoCon game of the year here tonight. Georgia Southern has beaten Wofford three straight head-to-head -head meetings, and the Terriers have not beaten the Eagles at home since 2005. Let's see how it plays out. Here are your highlights. Wing bone this time, man in motion toward the near side, right up the gut, hand off Donovan Johnson, and again, a strong run. Shooter bugging inside the 40, down to the 36. Four receivers, two either side for Lawson, out of the gun, hand off Donovan Johnson, slants right, first down run, 25, down to the 20, tackled in the secondary, first and 10 Terriers as DJ runs for eight. Third and four at the Eagle 14 right hash. Four receivers for Lawson, two either side. Fakes the dive, throws to the far side. Caught by Will Gay, he's got it at the 10. He drags the tackler down to the six. First and goal, Terriers. First and goal at the six, two receivers right, one left. Out of the gun, Lawson, handoff right up the middle and a carry inside the five Johnny Martin. by Johnny Martin. Down to the one yard line as he dives forward, Martin with the carry out of San Diego and the Terriers hurry it up and go in. Second and goal from the one. Hand off Martin into the center of the line. Banging around, backs his way into the end zone. Touchdown Terriers. Johnny Martin is in and Wofford takes the lead on the game opening drive. First and goal from the one, left hash. Quarterback keeping off the dive. Curls up behind left side of the line. Touchdown Georgia Southern. Ball will be kicked off right to left by Hanks, and that's an end-over-end -end kick that'll float down near hash and returned right up the hash mark to the 10, 15, 20. That's Nick Colvin near sideline, 30, 40, Colvin, 50. Two men with an angle to the 40, to the 35. He is finally thrown down inside the 30 at the Eagle 28-yard line. A 40-yard try from just inside the left hash mark out of the hold of Paul Inclan. Kick plenty of distance, end-over-end -end on the way, and it's good. Casey Redfern has given the terror Terriers the lead, two B-backs and a fullback for the Eagles. There's a toss looking to turn near corner, getting to the outside, and a touchdown run for the Eagles, and that is Torrance Hunt. 37 seconds to play in the half, two receivers left, one to the right, play action, Weimer, plenty of time, throws down the middle, Ashley's got it at the 40, Terriers right up to the line. First down at the Georgia Southern 40. Weimer again, play action, plenty of time. Throws deep, Ashley open, he's got it at the five. He's in for the score. We've got a flag down. It's a touchdown reception for the Terriers of 40 yards to Jeff Ashley. Second down and four, Georgia Southern from their 26. Man in motion, right is Hunt. Hand off, big hole up the middle for Banks. 30, 35, he fumbles the ball. Who's got it? Loose at the 34, Terrier football. Terriers from the Eagle 32, two receivers to the right, one to the left for Weimer, out of the gun, toss away, looking to make right corner, Ray Smith, 30, 20, blockers out front, 10, 5, near pylon, touchdown, Terriers, Raymond Smith, 32 yards. 
Four receivers for the Eagles, two either side, quarterback out of the gun with a running back next to him. Back to throw. Ellison throws it deep over the middle, and it is intercepted. Terrier football. Josh Holt with the pick. Rafford will take over. Fourth and 13 from the Terrier, 33. Ellison drops back to throw, heaves it to the near side, wants showers at the goal line. It's over his head, an incomplete Wofford football. Out of the gun, Michael Weimer. He's going to fake to Johnson. He's going to carry left side, dances away from a tackler at the 40. He's to the 45. Tackled out of bounds here at the near sideline at the 49-yard line. Third and seven, Terriers from the Eagle, 48, a wing left, a wide receiver to the right. Out of the gun, Weimer with two backs. Hand off, Cam Flowers. No, they fake it to Flowers. They pitch it near corner. Donovan Johnson to the 50, to the 45, to the 43. First and 10 from the Georgia Southern, 23. Hand off up the middle, big hole. 20, 10, 5, touchdown. That's going to seal it. Touchdown, Terriers and Johnny Martin. Oh, boy. The Wofford Terriers are 2-0 in the league, and they have beaten a longtime rival in the final meeting ever, maybe, between these clubs. And that's got to feel pretty good for the guys in black. Your final score tonight here at Gibbs Stadium in Spartanburg, the Wofford College Terriers 30, and the Georgia Southern University Eagles 20. That was one of them wild games. I mean, there was some lumber thrown out at that ball uh, as that ball was being chased. Great physical football game. A great physical football game. That's one of those, I guarantee you, when you're my age, you'll look back on and you'll be spreading some serious lies about that game. <laughs> <laughs> that was one that we kind of cataloged. That was one that we knew, we knew that we needed to beat. That was one of those that really brought the best out of us. You guys fought that fight and you didn't stop, you didn't quit, you, you did what you were supposed to do. Are we there yet? No, no. We got miles and miles to go. The key is this, we'll get on with this one tomorrow, look at it, after we look at it, it's going to be put to bed, and then we got another challenge, here. You guys played your tails off, you played your tails off. To the coaches, appreciate the effort you put in on the game plan, did a great job. We, as I said, before the game, it's we. It's we. I'm proud of you, men. I'm proud of you. I know that the crowd may be not as big or loud, but it don't matter. If we got to play in a parking lot, we'll do what we got to do. Short hair dog. Short hair dog. Coach, a hard-fought game, and once again, your defense comes up big, uh, only giving up 20 points to a, a very high-powered offense. What, yes. what works so well tonight? Well, uh, first of all, I, I thought that our kids did a great job of preparation. It was a very physical week, uh, and, and it has to be when you're going against a team like Georgia Southern and the run game. Uh, I felt that our plan uh, the coaches did a fabulous job on both sides of the ball uh, with the preparation. Uh, defensively, we, we fit the defense. We put them in some negative situations. Uh, we didn't allow them the, the big play, the, the just one that just crushes you where their quarterback goes, you know, a mile and a half and finally scores, that, that kind of thing. Uh, we were able to throw the football effectively and uh, we were able to run it when we needed to run it. The uh, kicking game, I thought Casey did an unbelievable job as far as keeping those guys pinned back, creating long fields for them. Uh, we had, uh, I, I think, an overall a solid game. Uh, there are still some glitches. Uh, you know, we're ready to kick a PAT, and we got two guys that don't show up. And uh, we'll talk to them tomorrow. And uh, 
it's a, a situation, I think, where uh, you've had a rivalry against a heck of a program, uh, people that coach hard and players that compete hard, and, uh, and it's over. And uh, it, th this is a game that, that we wanted to win. And this is a game that we prepared and worked to win. Uh, but if you're going to beat a great team, what, what you got to do, you got to make some plays. You, you got to make sometimes some great plays. And you got to be consistent. And uh, throughout the game, I, I felt like that uh, when the offense needed to pick up, defensively, we, we came, uh, came to, to the occasion. Uh, defensively, when they needed some help from the offense, offensively we, we did what we were supposed to do. So I think uh, overall it, it was definitely a total team victory and uh, couldn't be prouder of the team and, uh, and the coaching staff. In terms of game experience, you have a very young secondary, but Bernard Williams at corner broke up some big passes. Right. Chris Armfield made some big tackles. Right. And Josh Holt, first-year starter at yeah. safety, seemed to be everywhere tonight. Yeah, he was. Uh, him and Jeremy both had great had a great game and uh, the again the, the big thing that that occurred uh, both of those guys kind of worked together and worked off of each other because Josh was out there setting the perimeter and uh, pushing it back to his brother and his brother did a great job of uh, finishing the deal um, both those guys, great kids. Uh, both of them uh, came here as walk-ons and ended up earning scholarships and uh, we uh, we we had a, a night that uh, you know you'd like to, to have more people in the stands, but uh, the ones that wasn't there they missed a heck of a ball game. Donovan Johnson carried the ball, I believe, 36 more right. times tonight. It, it, right. Is he going to be a 30 carry a game guy? Can are you is that something you're comfortable with? Well, I, I think there's uh, you you got to go with the the guy that that you feel is can help you back there. We've got capable guys behind them. Uh, Johnny Martin ran the trap, had the last touchdown for us. And uh, I, I think we've got to be smarter and uh, be able to uh, you know, substitute more, and uh, there's there's young guys behind him that, that are quality players, and uh, I, I've just got to do a better job getting them in. So with their victory tonight here at Gibbs Stadium, the Terriers up their overall record to 2-1. and one. More importantly, they go to 2-0 and oh in Southern Conference play. Next up for Wofford, a non-conference affair against the Gardner-Webb Bulldogs. That'll happen next Saturday night, 7 p.m. here at Gibbs. A quick by the way, Gardner-Webb not only has beaten Furman this year, but but earlier tonight, they knocked off Richmond on the road. That airtime next week on the Wofford IMG Sports Network will be 630. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.